Look, John, if you want to go around having affairs with young girls, that's your business. Oh, but don't blame me if it sorry. blows up in your face. I did not tell you how many more times have I got to say it? Look, you think I go around causing trouble and starting rumours? Well, who started that one about me and Patty, eh? That wasn't me, that was Sandra. Well, you were quick enough to repeat it, though, weren't you? And what about you and Patty that time? What was that all about? What you mean, you know what that was about? She started coming on to me! So you said, but now I'm beginning to wonder. You always play the victim in these things, John, but it's funny. No, just... no, 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 you don't. You're very good at turning it round. There's nothing to do with that. The fact is, you've stuck your bloody nose into my business. I did not! What do I care about your business? If Sandra's found out, that's your problem! You're only discreet letting your fancy woman come to the station. You what? That's crap! She was so bloody smart, she never put a foot wrong, dear. You? you just stir it out for everyone else. Well, I'll tell you what, Jeff. You better get well out of my way tonight, because I've had just about enough of you. Here you go. Gov. Well, if you must know, it was about him poking his nose into my business. Something I'm getting a bit fed up with. John, if you bring it into work, it becomes our business. Yeah, I'm not at work yet. I was in my car. Anyway, you can talk. You what? Well, I'm not the one who buggers off to Cyprus every five minutes, am I? Now, look, John. No, you look. What I say to Jeff Pierce when we're not on duty has got nothing to do with you. Hold right? on. If my sub and my leading hand are having a ruck, I've got every right to ask. Yeah? Well, until six o'clock, I've got every right to tell you to piss off. 